going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. So, Black Order Anomaly Hardcore. Anyway, so what you just saw was actually the ending cutscene for this if you're successful. But I figured it's so cool, I wanted to put it first to kind of get you pumped up for the people that haven't ever played BWA as it's so commonly known in the game. Um, who haven't successfully finished it. Um, or whatnot, if you will. And because statistically... 90% of the people that watch this video will never make it past five minutes. Because that's what they do. Anyway, so, we're doing this hardcore. We'll switch around a little bit here again. Of course, this first part, you're defending these repulsors while they set up. So, um, we all go power hungry here. I got my mammoth out, we got the uh, tiger claw, we got a raptor, we got a rhino, we got a dragonfly, a little mixture of everything in here. It takes a few minutes to go through everything that's going on, of course. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it as always you can feel free to leave comments questions any of that stuff but this is hardcore so you gotta be level 40 to do it You're doing awesome. I know that I still have the one uh first mission to redo um, I talked about this in my other videos so I gotta get that one out I want to do the scorcher path one in a video for Miru also so that way we covered all the hardcores and we've covered all of the uh, current raids and such with the bosses and, and, and junk like that all on the channel so you have something to reference then we'll get into um, setups, I think, in future videos. Now, um, you can run BWA fairly quickly if you've got a Tiger Claw. There is a trick to it. Um, many people still use BWA for getting Christite fairly quickly. Of course, what you do is you got to survive this part here, and then afterwards, you just run around and you find all the loot chests, the rare loot chests everywhere. There's a whole bunch of them in here. I think you can run out with... I don't remember what it is. I haven't done it in so long. Maybe close to, to like... Six or seven thousand Christite. Something like that. Fairly quick with all the crates. And then get out and come back. I'm going to go ahead and switch here so I can move quicker. Otherwise, I just won't be able to keep up. Okay, I think I've got three rough area signatures ahead of you, but something's distorting the exact coordinates. Now I can keep up. Marking the distortions on your map. Let's get out there and find them. So we got three distortions. We'll pretty much just follow it around and do them. The quicker you get around into them, the quicker you can get them done. I'll actually take out my little uh, SMG here that I've got all set up, as you can see. 283 bullets in the magazine. It's a never ending. Never ending clip. Rather than waste my main ammo. Because these guys are just a hodgepodge. Nothing special. Right now. I was shooting our own guy. Oh my God. What the hell is that? 
I don't know, what the hell is that? Oops, sorry. I banged my mic there. This one's pretty cool, but man, I've been in a few of these runs with randoms that uh, it has taken forever to kill the boss because they didn't prepare for it or weren't ready for it. Realistically, I would say when you're trying to do stuff that your best bet is to... Uh, Again, run some of the earlier missions, get yourself some credits, some crystites, whatever you want to call it, S some decent gear, hang out in Amazon for a while, uh, run lots of war fronts, you know, stuff like that. Run run the uh, Baneclaw on Canaloa so you can get some gear, maybe in the loot drops. And the drop tables if they work towards your favor. Uh, sometimes they do work your favor, sometimes they don't. But you want to have a decent power rating coming into these uh, missions 6, 7, 8. So power grab, risky business, and BWA because quite frankly if you don't you're just going to drag the team down uh, in these final ones because these can be very complicated. I know it doesn't seem like it, but take into mind I've been playing this game for a pretty damn long time. And hopefully when they get the next major, major update, which I don't think is going to be for quite a number of more months, but there'll be some more changes and stuff. We'll see what happens. He's killing Slingshot again. For me, right now, I have about five or six of the frames that I've got into ta uh, tower, into, into tier three setups. Which is basically at least all blue gear. Okay, I have a couple of purple here and there and everything, but uh, all in the blue gear, which <clears throat> done correctly is going to give you uh, definitely over a 900 power rating, which is really what you, you need. Anything over a 900 power rating, decent setup that works for you, and uh, you you can you can do your thing. I average probably on the ones that I've got set up anywhere between. He just went AFK. Anywhere from 950 to 975 right now, my power ratings with my T3 setups. Which, like I said, we'll start talking about those. Um, again, now, in terms of that, you know, it's really customized to your style, what you want. So, what I may run ability wise may not be something that you run ability wise. But I will gladly show you how I do it. Just give you some ideas. No, I have not died. You thought I was going to die. I know you did. <clears throat> you keep looking at that screen. You're like, haha, he's going down. But no. I'm going to get the rest of the Chosen out of the area before we can... Now I died. I didn't see the one guy right there behind me. So now you can laugh. But only for a second. Oh! That hurt. That one guy right there behind me that I snuck past. Should 
Sure, come up here without a fully loaded clip, right? This is where that nice big clip helps. It's a never ending clip. 283 is the highest I can get on this SMG that I got in terms of with the modules on it. It's different when you've maxed everything because it's like you can just sit back, have some fun, and slowly work yourself up to, you know, max setups and stuff like that in the process. The whole trading market changes for you. You know, your want needs are a little bit different. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, yeah, I guess that's all dependent upon who you are. There's a rare crate, I didn't pick that up. Grab this one. I mean, as with most things, right? I mean, if you complete all this, the, uh, level up process and then at that point you just strictly gonna have fun because there's there's no need to worry about oh, I still gotta level this I still gotta level that I still want this I still want that now it's like I've got everything unlocked so now I can just I'd like to do this or I'd like to do that but today I just want to go and raffle stomp for no reason I would say now the grind up for me um, took me about based off of my time that I have lack of uh, in game roughly about month and a half to max up all the frames here recently and just remember every time you max a frame you get a uh, permanent XP bonus increase on on the account so each frame gets an extra 10% bonus increase by the time you're done you're at such a high bonus that it takes no time to get through all the frames and my quickest way to level was just running job boards allowing me to get all the blueprint unlocks in the job boards allowing me to get lots and lots of crystite XP fairly fast. You know, I take on some of the dynamic events, of course, you know, Bronodon King and uh, OCT. When you use Tau. I know people ask all the time, how do you get up there so quick? Like I said, every time you get one frame done, the next one is just that much quicker not gonna die I'm just gonna take this out well, maybe I am gonna die close so nice to have such a big clip all right get the hell out get out get out heal myself up and you know what else is funny too um, okay. clear once you get everything unlocked you you and you can start customizing stuff you know things that you didn't like frames that you may not have liked when you were leveling just open up the possibilities but I always you know just just build them to what you like honestly Tiger Claw is my speed class. Every one of them. Fire Cat, I'm building obviously to just I don't know when your is going to beat the hell out of things with fire. It's fun that way. 
But in the assault class, I think Tiger Claw is my favorite. There's only dead out there. Wait, I you on three, five? Engineer right now is Bastion, though I really do enjoy the Electron. I just don't have anything set up for it yet. <clears throat> so that'll just take some time to set up my Electron. Obviously my Mammoth and then my, uh, my Rhino. Slightly different setups on them. I'm not fond of the arsenal, just my personal preference. So in terms of that, he'd probably be the last thing that I actually solidly build. Uh... Got myself caught up here. I didn't want to go that way. Hopefully, I don't screw myself. Oh, crap. I didn't take the shortcut. I screwed myself. Don't you die. Yeah, of course. I saw him, but I didn't go and shoot him. It's okay. It's okay. This happens. And we respawn right next to a boss. Little big guy. Let's get the hell out of here. Forget going through the path. We'll just kind of skip it all. There we go. Which is what I should have done the first time. But I noobed it up. I <laughs> just busy talking. The Kodiak. He never shuts up. These bifold cannons will get you every time. And so will the Siege Breaker that's right next to me. It's almost time for the balls, the big balls. And then you get to see what that uh, cutscene was all about. <laughs> okay, just ripped him to shreds. Damn bifold cannons, what it's all about. And now, if you're still around, it's bowls time.
I'm thinking I'm gonna probably stay Tiger Claw this time and see how it goes. Maybe. Ah. Nah. We'll play it the easy way. We'll go with what I know will work for me. Let me get my report rewards for logging in. And 104 credits. They're just talking about riding the back of the boss. It's like bull riding. So he's a little more challenging, obviously, in hardcore mode than he is in the regular mode, but, uh... It's fun times, nonetheless. Definitely, um, you want to be in a spot where you can hide from some of the incoming fire. And you'll see that in a minute here. There he is. I may be too far out. Might as well die fighting. Necronus. Here we go. Hardcore mode. No respawn allowed. Just get on them. Duck and dive. Oh, there is a bifold cannon behind me. I don't know why those suckers are like seeking targets. So if they don't see you, great. If they do see you, you're pretty much screwed. Another bifold cannons everywhere. Gotta watch them bifolds. He looks hurt. That's because he is hurt. He's almost dead. I'm to get this damn cannon out of my way. Ow. Like I said, you want to hide from that. He's gonna do it again. Too far out. Too far out. Ah! I got blown back there. Coming. I'm coming. What the hell is that? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. He's dead, by the way. We missed that because I was picking up Garov. That's all right. That's all right. We pretty much had him dead anyway before I did that. Anyway, so the object now is to get your butt to these gliders and get your ass out of town as fast as you possibly can. As you can see, there is a timer. So just get down to the dropship, and that ends the mission. Comments, questions below. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will catch you guys in the next episodes. Thanks for watching, as always. And we will see you soon.